There are times when you want to add a graphic or a label to an image. This is something you can't do in Lightroom, but it's easy to do in Photoshop. In this video, you'll see how to use the Custom Shape tool to get the graphic element you want. We'll see how to add a simple arrow that directs a viewer's attention to a particular part of an image, and a shape with text that can be either informative or just simply fun. We'll make our image selection in Lightroom and use the Edit In link to bring the image into Photoshop. In Photoshop, select the Shape tool from the toolbar. I'm going to use the Custom Shape tool for this example, but the procedure I'm about to show you will apply equally to the other shape choices as well. To the right hand of the Options bar, you will see the word Shape. Click on the box next to it and several custom shapes are revealed. To reveal more choices, click on the wheel icon to the right and choose from the pop-up menu. I will choose All to see all the choices. I'm going to choose one of these arrow icons. Let's go ahead and take this one here. To choose a color for the shape, go over here in the Options bar on the left-hand side and choose a color from the color picker. Now I'll click and drag in my image with the Custom Shape tool to draw the shape. Every new custom shape is placed on its own shape layer in the Layers panel. And each shape layer comes with its own color swatch icon, which displays the current color of the shape. To change the color, double-click on the color swatch. To transform the shape after it's been created, select the shape layer and then hit Command or Control T to bring up the Transform tool. Now, drag on an anchor to transform the shape. You can also rotate the shape holding the cursor outside the bounding box. The cursor will turn into a curved double arrow. Click and drag and the shape will rotate. Now I can move the shape around by just holding my cursor in the shape itself and then clicking and dragging. When you're done, select Commit up here in the toolbar. If you want, you can also apply effects such as drop shadows and bevels to the shapes using layer styles. To do this, right-click on the shape layer and select Blending Options from the contextual menu. Apply the desired effect. I'm going to go ahead and add a drop shadow. And let's give it a bevel and boss. There. And we can give it a stroke as well. OK, so when you're done, just select OK. Once you're done, save your work and return to Lightroom. If you preserve your layers, you can always come back to Photoshop and edit the shapes further if you like. OK, now let's look at adding type to a custom shape. I'll open another image from Lightroom into Photoshop using the Edit In link and select the Custom Shape tool from the toolbar. I'll select one of the talk bubble shapes from the options bar. So I'm going to flip this talk bubble so it's in the right position by selecting Edit, Transform, Flip Horizontal. I'm going to move the talk bubble into position by selecting the V key and then just moving that where I want it to go. There. Now I select the Type tool from the toolbar. I can choose a font and a size and a color from the Options bar. I select the layer containing my custom shape. I can click anywhere inside the shape and begin typing. I'm going to make sure my type is white so it will be readable against the red. And select OK. And then I can just start typing now. As I type, you'll see that the text is constrained to the area inside the shape. I can also type words that follow the edge of the shape. Make sure the shape layer is selected before you start typing. Place your cursor over the edge of the shape and note that the insertion bar goes from having a circle around it to one that has a wavy line. Now when I type, the type follows the edge of the shape. Amazing! This brief tutorial on using Photoshop's custom shape tool should really get your creative juices going. There's so much you can do with it.